Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm here reviewing NVIDIA. This was an option trade I called on Friday. The stock gapped up in earnings. Actually the earnings were the Thursday night. Interestingly enough, uh, I had said in the room you could, you could have day traded this but I think it was a better option trade not only because of the price point, the expense, but it really wasn't a great gap to go aggressively long in. But for an option trade, it was very obvious to me that it would move and go higher. Tough for the day trade entry. Uh, let's look at how it did set up though as a day trade first before we look at what the option call I made did. So Friday was the 10th. Problem here with this is if you were aggressive, you got stopped out. You know, and sometimes longs take a little while to go, and NVIDIA just didn't get the momentum going really until after 10 o'clock. It, it held, it held the gap up, but not the low in the open. Uh, opened here at 213.08, broke the low, which doesn't look great, 211.63, and you kind of needed to wait a little bit for this to shake out and continue higher. But I knew that it would, so I just said, you know what, this is a better option call. So anyways, it was tough for the day trade, because you might have done it, got stopped, and had to retake it or wait. So typically in the morning when I'm day trading, I like to not wait. <laughs> uh, so I'm usually looking for the most aggressive thing, which I didn't think this would, was on Friday, but it was a good solid call. So, it, so I, I called an option trade in this long, the calls, long NVIDIA, the 215 calls out to 1124, uh, which actually it went through that strike by m almost four bucks, more than $3 on Friday. So you could have done it as a day trade Friday when I gave the call and got out and just made money as a day trade. So you can do options trades as day trades, get in and out when I give the call in the option letter, or you can do it and hold it out to a bigger target. Do I think NVIDIA has a bigger target before the 24th? Absolutely. 220 is the next target for this, 225. I mean, this stock can really, really move, but it did not, it did not do what I would call a breakout really on Friday. It gapped up on the earnings, had a solid move, Market really didn't explode though Friday. One good solid green bullish day in the market with this, and this could pop. So it definitely looks stronger. Uh, this week's gonna be a very interesting week to watch in the market for, for what the for the market does. So could NVIDIA continue higher immediately this week? Yes. Is it gonna have something to do with the market though? Yes. It needs a big fat solid green day, and it really didn't 100% have that Friday. Um, and by that, I mean a day where it really closes very, very strong. So we'll see and watch the video this upcoming week, but you could have done it and got out with profit. Ran almost $4 through the strike from where I called it Friday. Gave a lot of time out uh, for a stock like this to move, and we'll really see and where it goes between now and the holiday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you're interested in the Gap Options Letter subscription. It is an annual subscription. If you want to sign up, it's for the entire calendar year. I call... Gosh, I don't know how many trades I call a month. It depends how many I see. It could be five, could be 25. It just depends how busy uh, we, I see things with the market and how busy we are with gas. Have a great day, everyone.